Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. I'm here in Oahu and I'd like to take the time to do another video on another topic that stresses out a lot of Apple users. The question I get all the time is, is it the right time to buy a new Mac or an iPhone, iPod or iPad? People hear rumors and they think a new one might be coming out soon and should they wait or should they buy now? There's a very common question that I get and there's no good answer for it. First thing you want to do is check your information. You may have heard something about a new product coming out, but there are sites you can go to easily check those rumors. The two biggest rumor sites are MacRumors.com and AppleInsider.com. I find these have the best information. But the information there is still rumors. But it's better than hearsay, something a friend may have told you. At least you can check there and see exactly what the sources are and what the rumor is. I find a better place to check is the release dates of Apple products. So for instance, say you want to know if a new iMac is coming out soon. Let's simply go to the Wikipedia page for that product, say the iMac, and look at the previous release dates. A lot of times it's pretty obvious when Apple wants to release new products, and Apple doesn't deviate from this very often. For instance, they don't come out with a new version of a product just a few months after they released a previous one. And they don't wait much longer than a year to come out with a new version of something. The thing you have to remember about rumors is that most of them are false. Most of them don't actually happen. There are far more rumors of release dates for Apple products than actually there are releases. So there will be many guesses made until one is finally right, and that right one is what everybody remembers. But even then, with release dates, with rumors, you just don't know. If Apple hasn't said anything officially, then there's no way to be sure that a new product is coming out. Sometimes release dates and rumors have been completely off. Sometimes they've been right on. So it really comes down to you. You have to ask yourself, is it more important to wait a while or to have the product and use it now? If it's going to take a few months for something to come out, is that increase in productivity you're going to get from using a new version of the product worth it to have for those few months or is it just worth it to wait? A lot of times new products come out and they're just slight speed increases. It really wasn't worth it to wait, especially if it was going to be several months. Other times entire new designs come out or new features are added. For instance, if you waited for the new line of iMacs to come out to get Thunderbolt, well that's fine, but there aren't really very many Thunderbolt devices out now. and You may not need Thunderbolt for a while. I remember waiting for the first Firewire Mac towers to come out, yet I didn't end up actually using any Firewire devices for years, so it really wasn't worth the few months that I waited for that particular model. So my personal philosophy is to buy a new machine when I need it and not wait for a new version that might be coming out in some months in the future. Remember that you're always going to be out of date at some point unless you buy a new Mac, iPhone or iPad every time a new one comes out you're always going to find yourself behind after the next one comes out. So any advantage you have for waiting and getting the latest is only going to be temporary anyway. So I hope this advice helps. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.